Okay, so to do this problem then, what I've done is always write down uh, what your random variable is, and in this case I've defined x as being my random variable. Make sure it's a capital letter as well. And so I've let x be the random variable, mass of the serial in grams. And what we have is that this distribution is normal, so we say where x follows a normal distribution and it has a mean of 250 grams and the standard deviation is 4 grams so the second parameter here describes the variance so that would be 4 squared in other words 16 okay so we have x is the random variable mass of the serial in grams where x follows a normal distribution with a mean of 250 grams and a variance of 16 grams squared Okay, now next thing is to draw a sketch. So we'll put up the normal distribution here and we'll write on here the random variable x and the central value here is the mean and that's 250, 250 grams. And we're looking for the probability that the serial contains more than 254 0.4 grams, so that's going to be to the right of this. So I draw a line down here, marking this as the observed value, little x being 254.4. And we're interested in the probability of being more than this value, so I'd want to shade that region there. Okay. Next, draw the standardized normal distribution which will give the letter Z2. Remember Z follows a normal distribution, let's just write it in here, with a mean of 0 and a variance of 1. So this value here would be 0. And what we do next is just literally translate this value down onto the standardized graph and this value here I'm going to call Z1. And to work out Z1 I use the transformation that is the observed value X minus the mean mu that would be the 250 divided by the standard deviation sigma. Okay and if we work this out what we have is that we have the observed value then is 250 4.4 up here uh, minus the mean 250 over the standard deviation remember the variance is 16 so we need the square root of 16 which you can either write in as the root of 16 or we know that that's 4 working this out 254.4 take away 250 is 4.4 and divide that by square root of 16 which is 4 gives a value of 1.1 okay so z1 is 1.1 and remember what that means is that 254.4 is 1.1 standard deviations above the mean here of 250 Okay, so it's this area that represents the probability that I require. So let's just go over here and write the question out again. We want to find then the probability that our random variable x, that's the mass of the serial in grams, is more than 254.4 grams. And this is equivalent to working out the probability then that our z value okay, is greater than 1.1 standard deviations above the mean. And to work this out I'm going to need to turn to the tables. Now the tables, the cumulative probability distribution tables only work out the area to the left of a z value. So they give us this area. Now knowing that the whole area comes to 1, then to find this area all I need to do is subtract it from 1. So in other words, 
The probability of z being more than 1.1 standard deviations is the same as 1 minus the probability that z is less than 1.1. Okay? Now, in the formula tables, this particular statement is written as phi. We drop the z and just write 1.1. So we have 1 minus phi of 1.1. So turning to the tables now, okay, here's a typical set of tables. We look up the z value of 1.1, which is here, and we see that the equivalent phi of 1.1 is 0.8643. Okay? So we turn back, and so what we have is 1 minus 0 0.8643, and if we work that out, you end up with 0.1357.